Hello everyone and welcome back to the next of our Transformers reviews and today we have the next of our Constructicon reviews. Why did I stop there? Ignore that. And I know that I said I was going to go from least favorite to favorite, but the only reason that I'm starting with this guy, it's not because I don't like him, it's because I had to choose, after Long Haul, I had to choose which of them I liked the least because the only one that I don't like is Long Haul. But here is rampage he looks very good once again sorry for the terrible lighting i love how he spins due to how weird the stand he's on is but yeah sorry for the bad lighting i have to record this early in the morning because i'm also going to be recording the next uh constructicon review today i'm not going to be releasing it today you gotta wait for that but yeah so i have to do this early in the morning as i'm doing something all day tomorrow but starting off we will not be taking a look at the packaging, as usual, nor will there probably be any end pictures. I'll probably just put some funny videos like I did last time, so make, so make sure to stick around till the end. And also, if you didn't stick around till the end for the long haul review, I recommend you go back and do that, because there were some pretty hilarious videos at the end. <clears throat> but, here he is. He looks very good details-wise. One second. Never mind. First impressions, I wish he didn't need a stand, but uh, but the stand is really nice. It folds up for storage. He can stand without it if you balance him properly, but I don't have the patience to balance him properly. Whoa! One second. Really quick, here's one thing that the instructions, as far as I know, do not tell you that you probably would like to know. One second, let me get him onto the stand. The smokestacks are detachable, and they're usually right here, plugged in right here. They're detachable, and you can plug them in on his back to give him a cleaner look. Like I said, I'm, as far as I know, the instructions don't tell you why those are removable, nor do they even tell you that they are. But yeah, you can give him a much cleaner look. That means that's the only real... Oh, I'm tired. That means that the only real thing messing with him is... I mean, the scoop on his back isn't very bad, but he does have the uh, the cab. I don't even know if that's what that's called, but the, the driving section of the bulldozer. Accurate. He's accurate. And I've always liked this guy. Oh, wait. I didn't even mention his name. This is Skipjack, just so you know. And I believe I got lucky because I know that... Uh, as far as I know, the uh, box set will either sometimes come with Rampage or sometimes come with Skipjack. Mine got Skipjack, which I'm happy about because I like his color scheme a lot more than I like uh, Rampage's. Just because the red doesn't fit as well as I think the yellow does. Especially with the shield part that goes right above him. Anyway... And one of the main reasons that I liked Skipjack here is because, wait a second, no, that was Rampage. I don't care, I'm going to assume that this guy also has a Russian accent just because Rampage has a Russian accent, and I find that to be hilarious. You do have these things, which I believe the instructions leave them like that, but I like to have them folded back. You can do whatever you like with these, fold them down too. You can fold down these wheel things and have these flat if you want. I like to just fold these wheels down anyway, just so that I can... Uh, sorry, like I said, I'm recording this really early. Yeah, I like to fold those down just so that you can have these flapping about without the weird struts showing. <clears throat> but, without further ado, comparison time. You go over here. Once again, sorry for the bad lighting. I feel really bad about that. Here he is with MicroMaster Scale, Dr. Wu Prime, Commander, I mean. Uh, here he is with Legend Scale, Combiner Wars Chop Shop. Here he is with Deluxe Scale, Siege 6 Gun. And here he is with Voyager Scale. Uh, Tarn. Legacy Tarn. Which I don't really need to specify, seeing as how the only other Tarn that we even know of at the moment is going to be the, uh, 
I think it's called the Ultimate Starn. And it looks quite different, so you'll be able to tell. Uh, I guess we can get him with the combiner shelf. There he is with the combiner shelf, and it looks really empty with that Devastator there, honestly. And now we discuss his articulation. Wow, the lighting is awful. Here, look, I'm going to bring him into a different lighting just so you can see him better. There we go. That's what he looks like. He looks quite good. Honestly, on here, you can barely even distinguish him from Rampage. Unless I do this. Nope, never mind. That doesn't work. Uh, it changes it a little bit. But yeah, for articulation, starting at the top, he does have that. He can move his neck down. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to die. Yeah. Really sorry. I'm really sorry. You can also look up. And he doesn't really look down, but you don't really need him to. Seeing as how you can do that with his neck. Move side to side on a hinge. And it can rotate too. If you need it to rotate. Then I also... Can I just take a moment to uh, gush about his head sculpt? Once again, bring him into better lighting. That head sculpt looks so good. Why is it not focused? Okay, it's not focusing, but that is such a nice looking head sculpt. It it works really well compared to I mean, once again, it was Rampage that we saw in Revenge of the Fallen, but I'm just good I'm just gonna assume that him and Rampage happen to look exactly alike. Anyway. You can also do wait, can you do that? Never mind. I was going to consider trying to find a way to turn him into Buckethead, which, if you didn't know, that's one of the Constructicons that we didn't actually get toys of, who I believe was part of Devastator's right hand. Or wait, right hand? Yeah, right hand. No, wait. Right hand, yes. Who was like, you know how Hightower and Scrapper, or Scrap Metal rather, make up the left hand? I believe in the movie it was actually... Buckethead and Scrapper that made up the left, the right. But I could be completely wrong about that. All I know is that Buckethead was a character and we did not get a toy of him. I know he existed. That's about all I know. What is on my hand? Anyway, now, once again, articulation. Butterfly joint, forward, not back, unfortunately. But I mean, how could you really expect that to go back? Uh, he has a hinge at the shoulder. One moment. Now that we're back, we will continue. It hinges outward, which does get a little bit hindered by this piece, but you can move it out to get the full range. Then you have a bicep swivel. You can move the fingers, are all posable. That one moves up and down, hinge here. You can break his finger if you want. This one, you can't really break the finger, but it moves in the same way. And it moves inward even more than the other one does. You have this one here, which pretty much only moves at the finger, or... <clears throat> ignore that voice crack. Or you can move that joint up right there. I kind of want to take this into better lighting. I might just squish the camera to here. Bring them into there so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that moves. Why is my camera so garbage today? Like, even the short that I put out earlier... Is like the camera quality is low. One second. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. Turns out I lost most of that footage. And you, I m missed the entire transformation and most of the articulation. And I don't wanna go through it again. Just know the entire thing is there's a ratchet here. Actually, no, I'll untransform it a little. Oh, come on. There we go. You can move the tail, the back of the tail up and down. You can do that. And there's a hinge here. So you can do all kinds of stuff with his legs. That's pretty much all you missed. And the transformation, obviously. I don't want to do it again, but you can just go Google search it or search it up on YouTube because... I don't feel like doing it again because it's uh, it's a bit of an annoying transformation at some parts. 
plug everything back in. But I will show you, because I didn't do this yet, how to actually store his accessory. Or not an accessory, but his, uh, his stand. What you want to do is fold this in. It's just on a little clip that comes off really easily, just so that you know. Next, I'm going to undo... Oh, his smokestack came off. That's weird. Oh, why isn't that going back in? Did I have it plugged in wrong? Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take those out. Then, you'll notice that there are these two tabs, or two slots on the stand. You're going to put those into these teensy little tabs. Tiny little tabs on each side. Do that. Nope. Do that. Yep. Then, just fold the treads over them. Get everything flat. And there you go. And he still rolls. Actually, I think he rolls slightly worse now, but he does still roll. Anyway, I will give you a better look at his vehicle mode. Very good looking truck mode. You can, I mean, if you don't have the stand in, you can see his head and everything under there, but the stand with the stand in, it covers up most of the hollowness, which is pretty cool. If only a certain other Constructicon had something to cover up their hollowness. We will get to that later on. Ah, anyway, we'll bring him back, and now we'll go into flip mode. This one, you will get to see the transformation. I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry about lots of things in this video, because... Ah! The light! And the camera quality that, for some reason, can't seem to be good. Anyway, we will take the stand out. And now, what you want to do to start is undo the treads, just for now. Bring down this piece. Flip this up. Bring these out. Now, fold that up. Bring this piece up. Fold the sides in. And... Get it at a better angle. There you have pretty much it. This is just uh, funny. Oh, he's... There we go. <coughs> now, we will change some things about the configuration that the arms are in. Just want to do that. And you don't have to unpeg this, actually. This can stay in. Yeah, you do have to bring these down on either side. And then untab this and rotate it. Oh, whoops, I accidentally pushed that up. That wasn't supposed to be down there. Otherwise, it might break. Bring this up, untab this, and flip it around. Then bring it in. Oh, so bring it in. It can be a bit difficult to tab in sometimes. Then put everything back to how it was and you want to put this all the way down because there are two tabs there's one here and then it can also tab in here this one is for vehicle mode this one is for foot mode now put it back where it was and tab it in with that oh i missed tab it in to keep it secure and Tab that back in. Also, push down this wheel while you're at it, because he has a neat little trick he can do. You see this, where you can plug in a flight stand. If you push it up, it pushes up this wheel so that you can roll properly. I'm going to push it down for foot mode, though. And now, we will do the same thing we did before on this side. Simply undo, undo, flip it around, up. Swing down. Oh, I said, come on. It's easy most of the time, you know. It is quite easy most of the time. <clears throat> Why isn't this working? What am I doing wrong here? I'm not. One second. Oh, what? Oh, I think I was doing it the wrong way. 
yeah, I was spinning it the wrong way around. Anyway, now I'll finish up this leg. Or this arm, rather. Do that, and then these will hook together. And there you have the second foot of Devastator. And it's a good looking foot. Two toes. It's just a foot. Anyway, that will be about it for this guy. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. I especially appreciate it when you comment. I especially appreciate it when you comment. Jeez, my voice my voice didn't work. As it shows me, you're going to have to comment on the video. And as always, enjoy the pictures that will probably just be funny videos. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna all up in those feet. Oh, 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 I'm gonna just be. Suck up. Sucking on each one of those tootsies, those tootsies, those tootsies. You can't, you can't hide them from me. No, 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 you think you can, but you can, you cannot. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, there's no hiding those sweet, so sweet, succulent tootsies from me. Ooh, 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 ooh.